David Benjamin has nothing but praise for his sister. She was uh, really gregarious, outgoing, funny, ambitious. So when she was diagnosed with a rare form of stomach cancer about nine months ago, it hit hard. She, she just bought a new house, was doing great in her career. You know, they had all these kind of great plans that um, unfortunately, uh, you know, it didn't come to fruition. While she was recovering from surgery, David says her health started to take a turn for the worse. Cancer grew back very rapidly. It was during that time that David had the urge to do something in her honor. Just knew there were so many people that cared about my sister that would be happy to donate money so that I could buy a bunch of the books to donate to children's hospitals and schools and nonprofits. Connected with local author Jason Ryan, David reached out. Whatever you need, let me know. Let's let's do it. How can I how can I help? You know, my first reaction. You know, I was fortunate that my sister was doing well enough at the end that I shared this idea with her, um, made her very happy. And that's kind of what uh, led to this. David has already raised enough money to buy about 200 books from Jason. And it's got a, uh, a 13 word title, which is the capture of Lanny the Leprechaun from Limerick and the fantastical food fight that followed. David says he's made the book donations to places like the Bottomless Toy Chest, Kids Kicking Cancer, and a few elementary school libraries with plans for more giveaways. When you're dealing with a loved one who's not feeling great, you're only thinking about them and what, what can you do to make them happy, you know, and, and less pain. And so this was just one small little thing that I could think I could do. And, um, you know, I'm really proud to be able to do it. David says he's keeping his fundraising to his inner circles. He says this is just something he wanted to do to help kids who are sick or underprivileged, bringing them joy, all in honor of a sister he misses very much. I'm Alexandra Bahu, 7 Action News.